Just head right over to the slop section. Slop. It's absolutely pissing me. Sloppy. Sloppy Joe. Beautiful slop. Pile of slop. It's just slop. Time to bulk up the 260. Eat everything. Slop, more slop. It's more slop, more bucket. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new edition of DP Tries It. And over the, the years that I've done DP Tries It, I will fully admit that there are some times that perhaps I embellish a little bit. Sometimes when I exaggerate a little bit for dramatic effect. Da, 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 da. Zero. Zero for this product. Don't get it. It's a waste of your fucking time. Could be the messiest, worst made burger I've ever seen in my life. Although, I think the series has gotten worse over the years. Tastes like open heart surgery. <laughs> and overall, it really is a better, uh, a better, uh... I went to Jack in the Box. So I got one of these. A cheddar onion barbecue jack. It's supposed to be a burger with cheddar cheese and three different kinds of onions. Apparently like fried, uh, but like battered fried, regular fried, and caramelized. All on their, their buttery jack bun with the slop jack sauce, all right? And it was actually kind of dark outside, so I wasn't really paying attention or anything. And when I got out of my car, I noticed there was like a little spot on the seat where my butt was resting. I went and touched it, it was butter. From my butter seeped all over the seat. Okay? I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Bunch of teenagers working there, by the way. <laughs> Let's fry something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grease is cool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be trying a fucking cheeseburger. A variation on the buttery jack jack, jack burger from Jack in the Box. Now, if you're not aware, these have been around for several months, no more. In fact, I think I remember correctly, when they debuted, I think I tried one. And I wasn't massively impressed, but the flavor was interesting because it had butter and garlic. As you can see, it says right there, garlic herb butter. Okay. It's called the Cheddar Onion Barbecue Jack. This is what it comes in. I just want to show you. There's butter all over. That's the slop sauce seeping through. It's so greasy and buttery. Look, I soaked the bag. Look at the back of this thing. It's completely covered in butter. I'm not even kidding. Look, it's dripping onto the plate. What the hell is this? Get ready. I've not opened this yet. Wow. Look at that presentation. They couldn't even get it on the bun. It's actually, oh, look at this, guys. It's actually off-center to the fucking butt. Like, look, just look as I rotate here. It's completely crooked. They didn't even DSP try it. Wow. Maybe if they had a fucking uh, geometrical uh, ruler, they'd be able to put it and center it on the fucking bun. Like, there's no effort here at all. All right, I'm gonna take this bun off. So what I see here, there's supposedly your fried crispy onions with some kind of a sauce. I see what well, looks to be some kind of an aioli, right? It looks like pesto or aioli or something. I don't know what that is. And then I see a fried onion. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be the caramelized onion right there. But as you can see, the burger is not even securely on the bun. And here's the thing. You could say, oh, maybe it shifted while you were driving. No, take a look at the cheese. The cheese dried that way, meaning this already dried and was in position. Right? <laughs> they put it on there purposely. They couldn't actually get it on the bun. So in order for me to eat this thing, I'm gonna touch the burger. I'm obviously gonna try to push it with my greasy finger and try to get the patty somewhat onto the bun. However, I get the feeling I'm gonna have difficulty because the cheese is already melted. And that's kind of the faux pas with the cheeseburger. Look at this, it's once the cheese is melted, look, I can't move the patty. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. All right, I've almost got it onto the bun now. Holy shit. I've got to think this thing is a thousand calories. I mean, now I might be, most people say that a regular diet, you know, dietitians should be 2000 calories in one day. I'd be curious if someone, I'm sure someone will look it up now and put it in the comments, how many calories it is. So I'm going to attempt to lift this up. Oh my God. Oh my, the entire buyer bottom of the bun is soaking wet with grease and butter. Oh my God. God. I have never, ever, ever seen anything like that before. That is vile. Like, 
Huh? They didn't even try. Slopped it the fuck on there. Wow. All right, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a bite of this. This could be the most unhealthy thing I've ever eaten for this program. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Hmm. Well. Oh. All right, literally all I got for flavor in that bite was slop because this bun is so saturated in the butter. It's fucking gross. That I couldn't taste anything else but butter because there's so much butter on this burger. I'm going to try to get a bite with some kind of onion. Being that there's so much of this, I'll try to take a bite from maybe this side over here. Holy shit. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes good. Put some up fried onions on that sucker, right? Fucking butter on this burger. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one more bite and I'm gonna give you my review. Alright. There's so much grease on it. Wow, that was something else. Holy sh My whole mouth tastes like sweet butter, which is good. And permeating shit. Ugh. So let me explain. I actually think it might actually taste good. Because the components are there. Butter slop sirloin steak that goes with the flavor of fried butter is right and even the sweet butter slop on in theory it makes sense the problem is they really mismade this made it slop so honestly my review of the cheddar onion slop butter jack burger it's substantial it's a lot of food unlike some other products that i've done for this show this one's pretty substantial eating this you're probably going to be full Maybe have a few fries. You know, I, I got the combo, so we have a few fries with it or whatever. But I, I, this at least will fill you. Uh, oh my God! Now I'm burping. This is not good. <laughs> oh no! I think I might have to wrap this uh. episode up quickly. It wasn't disgusting, and it, uh, it wasn't completely saturated in this disgusting butter. A three or a four. This is a one out of five. It's a mess. It's insanely unhealthy. It's disgusting. It made a mess of my car. It's probably one of the worst things for me that I've ever eaten on DSP Tries It. It's awful. And again, what are the calories? What are the fat calories, right? Cholesterol? Oh my God. I gotta give it a one out of five. I wish, I, I kinda wish that I could've got a three or a four. So one out of five. I would, I would only recommend trying this if you have a jack-in-the-box near you that you know makes stuff well and maybe doesn't have a bunch of teenagers who are pumping out food and don't know what the fuck they're doing like this one did. Because I actually slapped my girlfriend. She's not home right now. She's coming home in a couple hours. All right. One out of five for the Cheddar Onion Buttery Jack. It's an abomination of a mess. Cannot recommend it. Looks like shit. Girlfriend. Tastes like slop. All right. But we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. That is it. Four, DSP Try Slop. Thank you for watching. You may now go to the bathroom appropriately if you need to. I probably will in a moment. Thank you, and uh, I just took a year off my life. See you later.